So these last three forms, in particular the, the, uh, the change to the first to file system, will go a long way towards bringing the United States into line with much of the rest of the world. Now, whether or not that's a good thing, certainly it can be subject to debate, and there's arguments on both sides. But there's one thing we can be certain of, and that's change that's coming. Uh, in other words, we all have to beware of the Ides of March. Now, we're, we're talking about patent law here, so the statutory text, the regulations, I mean, they're dense. Um, but don't worry, we're not going to uh, do like some programs go through and go through each section, section by section, and really uh, dig into that. Uh, what we want to do instead is focus on those parts that are going to be important to the IP decision makers in your organization. It's actually over a, a number of years now, um, the, the proposed bills uh, hit through a number of Congresses. We're talking about a six, eight year period to get to the point where we ended up back in September of 11. So what happened was, um, and the reason behind it, why are we changing, is because of harmonization, essentially. What we want to do is to harmonize our laws consistent with the patent laws that you see around the world. Most of the countries around the world, basically all the countries around the world, follow a first to file system. In other words, the first party to file their patent application, theoretically, would be the party that would have the priority rights to the patent over the second to file, even if they weren't the first to invent. <coughs> this is the cornerstone por portion of the statute for the American Rights <coughs> Act that the President signed into law a few years ago now. So this is the key provision. So if you're in a technology that moves rapidly, you know, the difference between the invention date and the filing date could be 12 months, 18 months. But now, now you've sort of moved out that time frame of what's considered obvious and what a, a one skilled in the art would know. I mean, it could be in a technology, 12 months could, you know, that could really be significant. And what would not have been deemed obvious because your invention date was 12 months prior could now be deemed obvious just in terms of the technology moving so quickly. So once again, the best way to hedge this is, is to file as soon as you can after a turn invention date.